Hey, look at that. We're starting a sword nose lock. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, damn. I'm very tired, but it's okay. It's okay. We're starting a sword nose lock. I just wanted to get through all that start. I know there's still quite a bit of tapping to get through. But I wanted to at least have the starter choice in the recording. Ow. But yeah, we're starting a Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke. Um, same rules as last time, Hardcore Nuzlocke. Uh, level cap, no items aside from battle items. Uh, so no X items, no potions in battle, all that stuff. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I won't be able to use rare candies, aside from like when I get them from raid battles and whatnot. Um, and in regards to encounters, what I'm going to do is... I will try to get encounters in the grass when I'm on regular routes. And then... Well, actually, I don't know. I think I'll just decide as I go, because fuck you, who cares? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, it's, it's more like, I don't want to have to deal with the, like, oh, it's your first encounter, you know, like, I'm going to look at it more as, like, if something is super close to me, then that will be what I go for, unless it's a dupe. If a exclamation mark pops up, like, right away, then I will go with the exclamation mark, I guess. I don't know. That's not a bad hit. It's not a bad hit. Bop. And last one. Go. Out of here, man. Uh, that looks like it might be neutral. Either neutral or maybe higher speed. That'd be nice. Use Ember. I guess I could have checked it. I'll check the nature as soon as the fight's over. Yeah. I could have checked it, like, before I started fighting, but it's all good. I'm trying to do better at keeping track of that on the little Nuzlocke uh, tracker I've been using. Yeah, I think that might be um, beneficial speed EV. Well, not EV, sorry. Beneficial speed nature. That or it's just neutral, which would be fine too. Yeah, go get stronger. Blah, 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 blah. I literally just said, check the nature, and just immediately just started moving again. God damn it. Hmm, okay. Um, sure, I guess we have to go save it. Why not? Uh, Pokemon. Let's see, what is your nature? Serious. Um... Oh, nice. It is a neutral nature. That's not bad. Okay, cool. I mean, it's never... It's, it's, I'm thinking about it. It's like, oh, it's never good to get neutral. But I would rather have neutral than have, like, one that just, like, has a beneficial to, like, a random stat. Like, say, special defense or some shit. And then has a negative to something that I want to have a positive in. 
So, I would much rather have that than have something that hinders me. Oh, I need to check this before I move. Because I found this out earlier. Okay, so I don't have Pokeballs here. So, whatever I run into in this zone does not count. Good. I'm just going to run from all these, because they're going to be the level 2. There's no reason to fight anything in here. Does he actually do anything when I'm in here? Oh, okay. I thought he might give me like an item or something as we keep going. I couldn't remember, it's been so long. Damn it, I tried jumping into the side there. Rookity! More like... Rookity's nuts. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Fuck me, dude, I'm so... I'm so exhausted. We're not gonna talk about it. All the way over there, huh? <laughs> Squirt it again. Oh shit, I just realized my Cinder. This is a uh, female. Damn. Or not Cinder, it's Jesus Squirt. Isn't that like fairly rare? Like. Not the starter's normally like a 25% chance to be a female or something like that. Oh. I'm just like thinking about it in the moment. I'm just like, oh shit. Something that honestly doesn't happen all that often. shorten the name when I named it because I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> I mean, Tackle might be a faster animation. I don't think it matters though. Just get it done. You know? Okay, so what is my cap? My cap is 20, right? Yeah, okay, so I've got quite a while before I get to, uh, get to that gym. That's actually true. There's, there's quite a, there's quite a window before you get to that gym leader, actually. Huh. Clean my TV. What is that? It's like some. Huh. Weird. I don't know what it is. It's not like food or anything. It's just kind of like a weird. I just gotta be careful because I have like a. A decently nice TV. It just has like some weird specs on it. I just don't know how to clean it without like damaging the TV. Since it's, I don't think it's an OLED. It might be like one of those QLED ones or something. I'm just gonna skip everything both of you have to say. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Go tell me, mum. Badoo. Okay, come on now. <laughs> I fucking hate that. Alright, so she get there's the Pokeballs. Gotcha. I couldn't remember when you get them. Like, For some reason, my brain was thinking you don't get them until, like, when you're almost to the professor lady. 
but Brain finally caught up and was like, nah, you get him here, I think. So we're good. We're just gonna... So, first Pokemon that we get to catch. We don't catch anything in the Slumbering Wield. Route 1. Okay, so we're gonna close our eyes. We're just gonna go. I literally just was like, go up, down, up, down, up, down. Or, uh, up, right, up, right, up, right. A rook -a Can I catch this in one ball? Can we make this really easy? Yeah, we can, baby. <clears throat> oh shit, what it you know what? I know the perfect nickname. Um I gotta make sure I spell it right though. That is what it is, okay. There we go, Korax. Yeah, because it evolves into Corva Knight, I think, right? So, Corvus Korax. Uh, oh, I can actually check this. Hang on. So we got Rook -a D. Uh, it was level 3, right? 4. Better. Um... sucks. Okay, it's not terrible, but it sucks. It sucks to have lower attack. Bold. But it is defensive, which isn't terrible. It does suck, though, that it is lower attack, right? I think blue is lower attack. That makes sense. Okay. Well, on we go. That's what I could do here. Well, I probably shouldn't grind on the screen. People don't want to see the grinding. You know. And I don't really want to record for like three hours and grind for that long. If I was streaming, it's a different story, you know. faster though, that's the good thing, so... Can Peck miss? That gave me a heart attack. I asked that, and I thought I missed because it took so long. Uh, at least we hit level 5 with that. We're just gonna run over, heal up. Oh, fuck off. They're actually blocking the door. That's so annoying. Okay, 
So the question is, do I want to catch the, uh, s the early slowpoke? It's definitely not a bad idea. But man, do I feel that it's very risky to go for a slowpoke this early. Especially if it's going to be using confusion and shit, man. That's brutal. Unless, unless I get, unless I can make it through the route and catch a yamper. That would be the only way, I think. Because then Yamper, I'm pretty sure, in, I'm pretty sure Yamper knows, um, what is it, Nuzzle, I think is the attack? It doesn't do a ton of damage, but it paralyzes. So I think Yamper knows that. I could be wrong. So many people giving me items. I'm not gonna complain though. I know what this does. Oh boy, thank goodness. Do I need to heal? Probably, right? Not Pokedex. I wish I could move those around and wait for the mod with the first one always. Yeah, I gotta heal. Okay. I just wanted to double check on that. I couldn't remember if I needed to or not. Like, if I talked to him and then they just healed my stuff right away. There we go. So I do know that that Slowpoke was level 12. I think. Oh wait, no! It scales with you, doesn't it? The Isle of Armor scales. Oh shit. Does that mean it might be higher level if I end up leveling up even higher? Ooh, that's gonna be tricky. Okay, um... Hmm. Alright, route two, right? Yep, okay. Where's the grass start? Right over there, okay. Here's open. Oh. Literally right as I was about to close my eyes. God damn it. Oh yeah, he's gonna throw me a bunch of pokeballs or whatever, right? Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Okay, cool, perfect. Hmm. So the plan here is I'm going to try and hug the top wall and just get as far as I can. haven't ran into anything yet, I may have made it through. Let me see if I can hear it. Oh, now I have no clue where I am on the route. Oh, that's not good. I might not even be near grass right now. This may be a terrible idea. <laughs> um, hmm. Well. Hmm. This. I'm pretty sure I'm spinning in place at least. Yep. Okay. Okay, I think I, I think I just need to. Oh, oh wow. Oh, okay. I, I, I made it pretty far into the route. Uh, thing is, I don't think. You know what? I think I may just say fuck it. I'm just gonna say fuck it and do what I want. Because, I mean, anytime I see Rookity flying around, I can't catch it. I already have one. 
You know? So it's like, okay. I have that already. He's gonna Ember. And I do want to... Ch uh, I do want to... I do want to swap in. To make sure we both get experience here. Like both of my Pokemon. Oh, nice. We got the burn, too. Yeah. So what we'll do... We'll go ahead and swap in. It's not even an, oh, I need to swap in. It's a, oh, I want to swap in. So we both get exp so both of them get a lot of experience. So Peck won't do a ton, but it's also tacking on the burn room, so I do have to throw out two. But that's fine. Down to route two. Oh, that's good. Oh man, that's where this that fucking nature is gonna hurt, man. Plus two defense CDs, which is good, but or plus two defense stat wise, but like no attack. Oh god, that's brutal. Sterling quick attack, which is good. Uh, let me go ahead and mark those level ups as well. So, Corax is 6, and uh, Cinder is 8. And we beat Youngster Jake. So, what do I think would be the m most beneficial to catch? If we don't go for the Squovit, we can catch Squovit, we can catch... I, I've got my eyes open. We can catch Squovit, we can catch... Um, hmm. I think you can get Choodle on this route, but I don't know if I want Choodle. I think if anything... I think, if anything, we want Yamper or Blitbug, I think. I mean, Nickit wouldn't be bad, but I don't know if it learns any, like, good moves, you know? Um, let's go and run back up this way, see if we come across anything. Ooh, that was close. I mean, I would have had to take it at that point. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh. Yamper right there. So do I go ahead and go for the Yamper? Hmm. It wouldn't hurt, I think. I think the Yamper would be the better play. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Get the early electric type. Ooh, it's level 7. I don't like that. That's scary. Tail whip. That's kind of scary. Then again... I think I'm fairly certain it only knows like muzzle or some shit. So it shouldn't have anything that can damage me like super heavy. But it is gonna paralyze me. Oh, and my swap in is fucking Damn it. Shit. I unintentionally put myself in a really scary situation. Well, I started to think about it, I was like, oh shit, the Pokemon I swap into, 
is a flying type. Okay. 20 attack, which is good. There's one attack on the Corviknot. Well, no, goddamn Rookity. Pure electric type, nice, noise, noise. Okay. So what do we nickname the Amper? Hmm. Yeah, I like Blitz. Um, can I make a run back to the fucking Pokemon Center? Like, I could have caught Choodle, but I don't feel like Choodle is a good catch right now. Like, super defensive, probably really high attack because of the biting and whatnot. But I don't see Choodle being, like, super good early. Um... From what I recall, Blitbug isn't terrible. Like, the evolution of Blitbug is pretty good. But once it evolves, it takes forever to evolve again. It's like... I think it's like level 35 or some shit, right? For... for, for uh, Was it Orb Beetle? That sounds right. It's like 35 or something like that for that evolution. So, I don't think that's a great idea to go for. I mean, the good thing here, too, is starting at level 7, so we have that going for us, which is really nice. Nuzzle, Tail Whip, and Tackle. Okay. Oh, Hardy Nature. Oh, that's another neutral. Cool. Not terrible. Huh. Like, Blip, Blip Bug is actually really good in this early bit, mostly because it's a bug type against a bunch of dark types. Like, Purloin is dark. Um, <clears throat> Nicket is dark. So, like, you have that bug and the random C dots and stuff that appear. They're all like, weak to that type, so it's worth it to kind of have that in there. Um, you know, I think I'm going to Leer here. And I'm going to swap into uh, Blitz. Fairly defensive. Let's see how much attack, or uh, attack does. Tackle. <laughs> That's not bad. That's the thing, right? We are taking a lot of damage. Um, but we're still trying to catch them up in experience as well. Let's just get them not caught up, but at least at a decent level. Because I don't want to go into the next hop, uh, hop fight and not be level 8 on these two. That's one reason why Nuzzle is really good, is because it always paralyzes. It's like, it, if it's not, or if it doesn't, it always feels like it's a 100% chance. Because I don't feel like I've ever been paralyzed with it. Nice. Corax is level eight now. And learn Hone Claws. And the Emperor, or uh, Blitz, is getting there. This kid has a dark type, doesn't he? Or am I wrong? He might have. What does he have? What do you have? Oh, you're gonna have a score that, aren't you? Oh, a Blitz Bug. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. I saw the. the I have a squirrel bit on his shirt or whatever it is. Oh, that's, I figured that's what I was going to be going against. 
Oh, he has two Pokemon. He's gonna have to paralyze. Struggle Bug is fine. He won't take too much damage from that. But we can get the Dragon Special Attack uh, here. We'll go ahead and swap into Korax. Get Korax a bit more experience. Getting lucky with the paras. That's fine. We're a special attacker. Go ahead and peck. Oh, nice. Even with the lower attack, we still one shot. It's so good. Beautiful. Maybe we can make it. Let's go ahead and just peck. Oh, and there's quick attack. That could be bad. Could be, uh... Attack again. Oh, it's not faster. It was only faster because of quick attack. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and swap into Blitz. Now, depending on what it does here, we may swap again. Does Blitz have... what is Blitz's ability? I wasn't even paying attention. Let's go ahead and nuzzle. Get it paired. Even with the tail whipping, we're fine here. Because we paralyze here. Um... Does Quick Attack still have priority when you paralyze? I think it does. I'm gonna tackle it. Does have priority when it's paralyzed too. Okay, good to know. Watch, it's gonna have something like static. Oh, that's not that bad either. Nice. Okay. Now we're sitting at two level eights and level nine. Oh, we got 420. Baby. We're on the right track now. What is its ability? I don't think I've never I didn't use a Yamper. Ball fetch. If the Pokemon is not holding an item, it will fetch the Pokeball from the first failed throw of the battle. Okay, that's interesting, I guess. Huh. I mean I get it. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, we'll go ahead and restore Korax as well. It's only 10 hit points, but still. Um, put Cinder back in the front. I want to hit level 10. Beautiful. I don't know if that will get us level 10 right away, but... Oh, with it being level 6, it'll give us quite a bit. Bitch. I can survive. I'm like 1 HP. That's fine, I'm just gonna quick attack it. It actually probably won't give us enough to level. It'll do us quite a bit, but I don't think it'll be enough to level. Korax level, though. Oh, a C dot. Okay. Interesting. I mean, I knew C dots are on this route, but. Interesting. I thought it's... I don't know, I guess C-Dot doesn't show up on the... Well, not on the map, on the route. I mean, it's fine. I mean, to be fair, Shift Tree is not a great Pokemon. That's pretty hard to adjust, like... Like, it's, it's... From memory, it's actually pretty bad. Um... 
Um, there's nothing over here, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. Can I just, like, slide the button? No, I can't. Damn it. So back on the topic of like Scarlet and Violet, right? I am excited for it, like super excited for it. Um, and I'll probably be streaming it. I'm not gonna. I probably won't record it. I'll probably stream it. I'll more than likely just stream on my uh, Twitch and just take the vods and upload them here. If I don't upload them here. I might make another channel and start uploading them there, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but either way, we are gonna, like, we're definitely gonna be playing. And I'm gonna be trying to Nuzlocke it. The only downside about that is I may have to, like, spoil myself a bit, depending. Like, because I don't know how we'd go about knowing what our level cap is without kind of spoiling ourselves on the level cap of each gym leader's uh, ace or whatever. I mean, the good thing is I don't necessarily need to know what their ace is. Oh, I need to go back to that. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go back there eventually. I just forgot about the rare candy. Um, but I will need to... Uh, well, it's that or we just go in completely blind and then if I'm over-leveled, there's a, there's a bit of a problem. <laughs> You know, um, I would hope I don't overlevel. I'm gonna try not to. That's for sure. I really am gonna try and nuzlocke it first try. No reason not to nuzlocke it. I mean, hey, I'm gonna beat that ass, boy. I ain't scared of your ass. Pop such a pushover. Mm. Should be the Wulu first, right? Yeah. We've gotten a bit stronger. Here I am, level six. Gonna amber it down. <laughs> oh, we got a high roll. Oh, yeah. That first hit did not do anywhere near that damage. So hey. straight into the groovy, huh? Okay, sure. Half damage, nice. If I wanted to, I could also swap to uh, Korax, but I don't want to. Not yet, anyways. There's no reason to. We can just burn through with uh, Cinder. Cinder gets 11. And there's Vokadi. So here, we will go ahead and swap out, because there's no reason for me to just stay in on this. Especially when I can just swap out and, um, and, I mean, I was going to level up anyways, but I can get a bit more experience and I can take it out fairly quickly with Nuzzle. It is going to be a little faster than me, but that's fine. Especially now, because it's paralyzed. Man, now we just drop it because no quick attack and Oh, crit now. <laughs> the 
combine. Wonderful. Ah, oh, Korax didn't level. Damn. I was kind of hoping they would both level, but, you know, it is what it is. Um. When did you get the mobile box? I honestly just don't remember. The endorsement, yay! Hmm. don't remember what you use the wishing stars for. I, I I seem to vaguely remember that they're used for the raid dens, I think. so worried about trying to go for that fucking slowpoke. I really don't want to risk it. Um... But I may have to, at least this time... At least this time... I'll have easy ways to, like, paralyze and shit. And I say this time because I tried recording before, and my dumbass, I, I recorded two days ago, right? And I got up to, I, I caught the slowpoke, and I stopped after that. Um, but my dumbass, I caught it, and then went to bed, didn't do anything the next day. I started recording today, well, I went to start recording and I was like, oh, I still need to delete my save data. And my dumbass deleted the save data, thinking I hadn't deleted it yet. I was fried yesterday, I didn't remember anything. So this is why we're starting a new file. Are you fucking kidding me? I could have caught the zigzagoon over here? Really? I didn't know that. Oh shit. That would have been really good to catch, actually, I think. Right? Yeah, it's normal dark. That would have been really good. I mean, eh, the normal bit, maybe not, I don't know. But Obstagoon's like really tanky, if I recall correctly. So that could have been very strong. Or at least really good to have. Hey, don't walk at me like that. Choodles will just follow you too, so they're just annoying. Uh, Cinder being at the front spot's not terrible. Let me just go ahead and amber this down. level. So what I can do here, blitz up front, we get 10 on blitz. Take out the Choodle here. I don't know if one I don't know if one nuzzle will be enough to kill, but I mean it is only like 20 power, so really he has water gun at level 5. Maybe I underestimated Chewle. 
Well, I mean, what's the you know, what's the odds that I come across an early fire type to use that on now? I mean, ground type, sure, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. So it's not terrible. Still, I was not expecting that at all. A nerve. Oh, that reminds me. I need to buy berries from the berry dude. This one's level 7, by the way, so we'll get quite a bit of experience off this. And we two-shot it. Unless that was a high roll. But I'm almost certain to two-shot it, yeah. So we might not level off that, but definitely good start. Good jump. Uh, so two more feints, and we should have it. Let's go around the corner and catch, or not catch, take this one out. So, I guess I should mention this too. Because um, I will pro I will be grinding every now and then. If I ever come across a shiny, I'm just going to catch it. Because, um, and the way, I'll, the way I'll do it, especially with shiny claws, what I'll do is if it is a Pokemon I have, I can compare stats and I can choose whether or not to use it. And it would just replace that existing one. So, like, if this Rook of D was shiny, I would just replace the one I have with this one, possibly. Um, but, say I ran into uh, a Choodle and it was shiny, I'll catch it, but I'll have a separate box where I can just put shinies that I've encountered. If I encounter. Because I don't, I don't want to be like, oh, I've been grinding and I just happened to run into the shiny, and I'm going to use it on my team, you know? Like, I'm not going to do that. I'll only do it and be like, oh, I ran into a shiny, I caught it, here it is in the box. You know, I don't want to be like, oh, you know, I caught this shiny, I want to use it. I kind of want to run from this, because I don't think this will give me enough experience to level. Uh, it might actually. I just won't do much damage, so. Let's just run. I couldn't get away, is that what I just saw? Really? Are you kidding me? What the fuck was that? Ooh, I'm gonna look at me first. Take that out. Get that experience, baby. Nerd, of course. Level six, we might get enough off this level. If not, we'll have one more encounter, and that's fine. Parad. Yeah. Now that I think about it, I think the better choice is to go for the Amber. Having that early para is so strong. A early, an early guaranteed para is so good. Like, it may not be Thunder Wave, but at least we, we do a little bit of damage to it. And it's still an electric move. So we do still get a decent amount out of the ability. So we get a little bit of damage and, and a guarantee Paralyze. What level was this? Eight? So at level eight, it'll have Tackle, Water Gun, and Bite. I think I made a mistake. <laughs> no. But damn. Chulo's moveset, dude. Holy cow. Because one tackled me earlier. I had another one Water Gun me, and this one just bit me. That is wild, man. I mean, we'll be fine. I just gotta nuzzle one more time and it's gone. But that'll actually be quite a bit of experience here. Go ahead and level it up. Level 10. Oh, nice. That Spadef is gonna be so nice. And it learned Bite. Oh, baby. 
That's gonna make the Slowpoke fight so easy to catch. That's so good. So we have Nuzzle to paralyze it. And then we can uh, just super effective bite it. Oh, the berry guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta stop and heal first. Mm. Um. First, though, I'm gonna buy. F not. 14. 15. I'm gonna buy 15 of each of these berries. I probably don't need that many cherry berries or pekka berries. Actually, that's a good point. I'll buy 10 of these. But 15 orange berries, yeah. Always better to be prepared. At least that's the way I look at it. I would always rather be prepared than not. Um, the only thing is, in the slowpoke fight, I kind of don't want to have a berry on Yamper. At least at first. Because, um... I'm just going to buy 10 to get a free premiere roll, too. Um, but the reason why I'm going to do that is with Yamper, I'll be able to, um, with its ability, yeah, with its ability, I'll be able to throw my Great Ball, and even if it misses, I'll get my Great Ball back. And then I can try again. Now we have an orange berry on both of them, and Blitz will be able to nuzzle and then bite, and that should drop the slowpoke low enough to where I should be able to catch it with no problems. And then we get Swift for free. Go ahead and walk in here, get the camping set up. Oh, don't you get the the, 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 the the mobile box once you get into um, the city we're about to go into, I think? I could be wrong, but I think that's right. You know, it gave me the option to turn on, like, the... Oh, you can skip movies? I have no fucking clue how to do it. Because I'm pretty sure I've, I've had two movies and it hasn't let me skip them. Oh, it did it! Yeah, nice. It actually did skip it there. Let's go ahead and get our Eevee from the Wild Area Station. I think it starts level 10, right? Sure. His nickname is K. Oh yeah, it is the Dynamax one, isn't it? Um, level 10 start, nice. Um, ooh, lower attack but higher special attack. Interesting. Okay. Modest nature what it is. Okay. Modest nature. Start level 10. Okay. I'm also going to give it an orange berry as well. Because we're going to be using a lot of jumping around once we get it low enough where we can catch it. I 
We're not going to the Isle of Armor yet, obviously. We're just here to catch this boy. Poor girl. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Like I said, what level is it? Ooh, it is level 12. Okay. So, and it is a girl. Okay. So what we'll do, like I said, we're going to nuzzle. We'll paralyze it. We won't, yeah, I was going to say, that's not going to do anything. Slowpoke is pretty tanky. So we'll only be able to get one bite off here, but that's perfectly fine. That at least gets some damage on it. Flinched. Nice. I'm gonna try and get out of sleep. Used acid. How much is that gonna do to me? It's not that bad, honestly. Nice! We woke up and we get the bite. Give me another flinch. No, but it used yawn. Okay, that's perfect. Well, not perfect, but it's fine. Um, so with how much bite did there, I don't want to bite again. What we'll do is we'll just tackle. Just get it a bit lower. And paralyzed. Nice, 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 nice. Maybe we get the lucky wake up. Nope. Damn. Well, the thing is, I don't know if it needs to be awake to be able to use its ability. Still shit. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. It tried to use Yawn again while I was asleep. Still fast asleep. Two turns. Paralyzed. Nice. Woke up. Nice. Okay, so we tackle. Then we'll throw a Great Ball next round. Yeah, I don't need to get it any lower, I don't think. Uh, throw the Great Ball. And make use of Blitz's ability if the Great Ball does not work. Oh, wait, no, it's going to be holding it, isn't it? Doesn't matter, we caught it. Hell yeah. Okay. We got the Galarian Slowpoke. Uh, captured, and it is level 12. A lot of experience there. Hell yes. And Korax hit 11. And Sunday hit 12. Wants to learn Double Kick? Yes, please. Uh, let's get rid of... Tackle. Uh, yes. I'm gonna name him Brain. Her Brain. I really do like her design. Okay, though. That's awesome. We can go back to the wild area now. I don't know if I plan on catching anything in the wild area right now. Um... Oh. Oh, yeah. Too bad those are kind of useless for me, aside from being out of fights with the really big, beefy Pokemon. But I'm really gonna try not to run into any of those, so, you know. There's that. Um, 
aside from that, yeah, I think Motostoke is the area that has the, uh, the what you call it, the, um, oh, did I ever go back and get the rare candy? I don't think I did. Hey, game, or controller, please stop. Really? Fucking hell, this drift, I hate that shit. Um, uh, I don't think I ever went back and got it, did I? I did not. Okay, I'll, I'll do that off screen. Either way. I was pretty sure there was an item back here or something. Right? No. Okay. I thought there was for some reason. Maybe right over here. Nope. Okay. Um. Either way. Pokemon are healed. So let's go ahead and end this episode here. I'm not going to cut anything out this episode, so hopefully you enjoyed. I'm going to really try to get this done before Scarlet and Violet come out. If I can't, I will definitely still do like an episode a week, at least until this is finished, while streaming Scarlet. But until then, y'all take it easy. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see y'all in the next one. Laters.